During Minecraft's illustrious 14 year existence, many new game mechanics have been introduced. Those things could range from blowing out massive projectiles at damn near the speed of light, or you could fish for some fish. Yeah, real creative there, Mojang. But that's not all. You could also cook a salmon to perfection, mold diamonds into tools of your desire with your bare fucking hands, and then of course, wait, uh, hang on a second. I'm uh, getting some new information to me. Uh huh. Uh huh, okay. How could I forget the star of these mechanics? Brewing! That is a thing that exists. Yeah, safe to say that brewing is mostly forgotten about by majority of the mainstream beta male cucks who only play for the most optimal experience. The only reason as to why this is the case is probably because it's a massive chore to get enough of the fingies you would need for brewing. And a lot of that stuff is actually pretty rare. Well, at least they used to be. Brewing is actually a pretty old mechanic now. First introduced in beta 1.9 periods too. During whose time stuff like Chocolate Rain and fucking Awesome Face Song were still all the craze and YouTube looked like this. Get a lot of this fun fact. Brewing was originally meant to be procedural, which basically meant that the brewing recipes were gonna be different every time a new world was made. Imagine the fucking headache that would be. After spending countless hours in one world, perfectly memorizing the specific patterns of that world, and for whatever reason, when you go to another world, you have to learn every single recipe again. And this is repeated for every new world. I mean, I gotta give praise to Mojang for deciding not to do that, cause good god, that would be annoying what as the balls. Hell? Now, you may be thinking, surely there can be so many recipes that you would have to remember in that scenario? Well, how many potions are there? Surely there can be that many. 28 different potions, what the fuck? I'm not even gonna go into that. We can just move on to the potions themselves now. Oh my god. The most important pieces almost every single potion needs is water bottles and glaze powder. Uh, I think. After that, you're on your own. And on your own, I mean use the Minecraft wiki to get your desired potion. Usually, the ingredients used in brewing are some oh. one-off items that were specifically made for brewing. For example, never warts or gas tears. Let me give a quick rundown of some of the more useful potions, cause trust me, some of them should be locked up in a cell with the key thrown away with how bad what some of them are. Who the fuck cares about potion of decay? <laughs> I literally didn't know this thing existed until I started researching for this video. That's how irrelevant some of these things are. Anyways, Potion of Weakness, Regeneration, Night Vision, and Swiftness are probably the most used potions. Potion of Weakness to cure zombie villagers and exploit them for capitalistic gain. Regeneration is just good all around for healing. And Swiftness if you want to goof around with the commands and give yourself speed 100,000. However, I think the Potion of Night Vision is by far the most utilized one because of creative mode and building in dark areas or underwater. Very useful from my perspective. Well, I was kinda nitpicking about some of the potions, but that was more for comedic effect rather than actual rage. All of the potions, apart from the awkward potion, have some type of buff slash debuff that makes them useful for helping yourself or by downplaying someone else. Very much like we how did. people behave. Like the stuff I mentioned Slightly. earlier, if you already have some potions available to you, they are very useful for basically any scenario, but there lies the problem. They're only useful when you make them. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds random, random right? right? And maybe a little okay. silly. But that is the main issue. These things are way it's too inconvenient to craft and a straight fucking hassle to find the necessary items. Sure, in creative mode, Potion of Night Vision is useful because you can whip out that bad boy on the spot and continue building in peace. But let's say you're doing the same thing as survival. First, you need a brewing stand, which thankfully now can spawn in villages, so you most likely have a bunch of them laying around somewhere. Then you go get some water bottles. Seems simple enough so far. Then you gotta get some never warts, which shouldn't be a problem if you've already harvested some of them. But if you didn't, you have to go all the way to another fortress to get some warded nevers. After that, you gotta craft a golden carrot and use that to make the potion itself. Sure, not as annoying as finding a fucking never fortress, but still pretty irritating that you have to find a village for the carrots. Stuff like this is probably not a problem to some people who like to explore and whatnot, but I just don't think that the reward is worth all the effort you put in. I like to play the game in a way that involves a shit ton of building and having a bunch of items, and even then, I don't have a strong attraction to make any potions. The closest I get to using potions is when I use a beacon and use its perks because it is much more convenient. You place a bunch of blocks down, use an item or two, and there we go. Around like a hundred blocks, you have any buff you want at any time. I guess the potions have their moments to shine when they are using combat, which is, now that I think about it, probably one of the main reasons why they exist, because they work both ways. They offer some perks to your abilities and or healing, while also having the choice of hurting your enemies.
Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it from that angle, I think that that was the only reason why these potions exist. Doesn't make sense to have them for any other reason. So basically, everything negative I said in this video is pointless. Also, having the ability to fucking lace your arrows with some VX nerve agent is pretty convenient.